Hi everyone, this is Meenakshi Ramesh from TapyWayToHealing.com. Today is day 14 in this EFT Tapping for Weight Release video series. Today's topic is Tapping for Food Cravings. This is a favorite topic for all of us. Um, not the tapping part, but definitely cravings. All of us crave for foods, certain foods from time to time. We all have our favorite foods and uh, it's, um, you know, when uh, um, we all have our favorite foods and when we think about releasing this weight, we always worry about, um, you know, giving up our favorite foods. So I specifically chose this topic uh, today for today's video because when we um, um, teach classes, when I teach classes or when I used to volunteer as an emotional assistant um, in, um, in workshops, I've uh, been an emotional assistant for multiple workshops um, offered by EFT Universe. That's I got certified through EFT Universe. Um, there is always uh, on day two or day three, there is always uh, a demonstration given, um, tapping demonstration given for food cravings. So during, uh, during the demo, uh, we will be here. We we are we always distribute uh, Hershey's Hershey's Kisses chocolates to all the participants. Sometimes participants are also encouraged to bring um, some of their favorite foods. Uh, sometimes people bring um, a glass of uh, a bottle of wine or a glass of wine. Sometimes they bring even a cigarette. Sometimes people bring chocolate chip cookies. You know their favorite foods, and keep it in front of them. And then we do uh, we. And we, we do a tapping demonstration. We, do, we tap a few rounds. And uh, when we um, request the participants to, you know, smell the, smell the chocolate or smell the cookie, uh, whatever favorite food they, they have in front of them, um, eight out of ten times, um, people um, say that, you know, it smells like wood or wood or it smells like paper, um, you know, or they you know it's too sweet or they don't smell anything so people have different reactions ultimately uh, they say that uh, they do not want to eat the food uh, most of the time they the chocolates are just uh, you know by the end of the day they're just thrown away in the trash uh, or we just people leave it on the table and they go so it's very very common i've noticed that in workshops so this is uh, when you tap along with this video I would encourage you to bring your favorite food, keep it in front of you and uh, start tapping along with me. So that's why I gave this long explanation before I even, um, you know, jumped in and did any tapping. So let's tap now. So I'm just going to take, I don't have any food in front of me, but I'm just going to use chocolate as an example. But you can just replace it with whatever food you have chosen for this, uh, for today. Okay. Even though. I crave this chocolate so much. I deeply and completely love, honor and accept myself. Um, what you can do is you can smell the food first. That's what we, we, are, we always ask participants to do during a workshop. We'll ask them to smell it first before and then kind of, you know, get this, um, uh, you know, how do, how do I say this, the, 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 the juices the salivary glands activated then you know when you smell it people really want to people say that oh i want to uh, eat it so much so badly i want it like it's at a 10 you know so how how much you crave the food so rate the intensity so before even before you start tapping smell the food and rate the intensity and find out how how intensely or how much you want to have the food okay and then you start tapping so let's tap again even though I crave this chocolate at a 10. You can even say 20 or 100, not a problem. I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I want to eat this chocolate right now, I want it so much, I can't even wait. I crave this chocolate so very much right now. I still love and accept myself anyway go to the eyebrow all this craving for this chocolate 
I crave this chocolate so much. All this craving for this chocolate. I want to eat it right away. I'm craving this chocolate at a 10. I love chocolates. And this is my favorite one. So I just want to eat it now. All this craving for this chocolate. All this craving for this chocolate. So now stop tapping, take a breath. So if you're watching this video and if you have some food in front of you, just smell the food again and find out if anything has changed for you. Um, if, uh, if for some times, you know, for some people, the number goes up, like you, the, the craving goes up, you want to crave, you crave more of the food. For some, uh, you know, the numbers come down. So you can test it yourself if you have some food in front of you. And let's tap again. Even though I still have this craving for this chocolate, I am unable to let it go. I still crave this chocolate. I choose to stay calm and confident and believe that I can let go of this craving. Even though I have been craving this chocolate for a very long time, maybe since childhood and it's so hard for me to let it go. I choose to acknowledge this difficulty in letting go of this craving. Even though because I am unable to give up on chocolate, I gain weight. I am willing to give tapping a try. And I'm willing to release this craving right now. All this remaining craving for chocolates. All this remaining craving for this chocolate. All this remaining craving for this chocolate. I really want to let it go. But there is a part of me that does not want to release this craving. I am worried that if I release this craving, I will never be able to enjoy chocolate again. All this remaining craving for chocolates. I don't want to let it go. stop tapping take a breath so again you go back and measure uh, and smell the food or smell the whatever uh, you know that if you have a if you have chocolate you can smell that chocolate is something if you have access to chocolate at home always this is very easy to do you can bring it every time and tap along with this video so just test if you know anything has shifted for you and let's do one final round of tapping so this time go to the eyebrow assuming that you still have this craving even though I still have this craving for chocolates I choose to stay calm and confident and believe that I can let this go even though I'm still craving for this chocolate I choose to stay calm and confident and willing to let go of this craving. Even though this chocolate craving keeps me stuck and keeps me stuck from releasing this weight, I choose to stay calm and confident and believe that I can release this chocolate craving and this weight. Even though it doesn't feel safe to let go of this chocolate craving and let go of this weight. 
I choose to stay calm and confident and believe that anything is possible using tapping. So stop tapping, take a breath. So we've done three rounds of tapping. Go back and smell the food again and notice if anything has shifted for you. If it hasn't, you can go back, uh, rewind the video and begin tapping, um, start tapping from the beginning. So um, try at least doing anywhere between four to five rounds before you decide to, I mean, you can still go ahead and eat the food. There's nothing, it's not like, you know, um, you shouldn't eat. Um, sometimes people also eat during the classes. They, they just have the chocolate, or mostly it's chocolates. And then they say that, you know, it doesn't taste um, as good as it used to before. So you can test it out for yourself. Personally, for me, I've noticed when I work with clients or when I'm doing some tapping for myself um, for for some time, then later if I have, uh, you know, go, to, uh, go and have lunch or dinner later, I sometimes I don't feel hungry that much. I've noticed that um, um, a lot. Um, it's been 10 years since I'm tapping. So that's something that's my experience. Again, it doesn't happen all the time. But it has happened quite a few times where I feel um, I'm not very hungry or uh, if it is my favorite food, I don't enjoy, um, I, I don't enjoy the, I won't enjoy the food as much as I used to uh, during other times. So this is just, these are just my experiences, sharing my experiences. Um, and in workshops, people always ask, uh, do we need to tap for each and every food craving if you want to release weight? Um, you don't have to but if you want you know you're very welcome to do so you can use this video as a template and try uh, tapping with different foods in front of you but in general you know releasing the um, taking care of your emotions taking care of the stress and overwhelm that is stuck in your body and mind and um, constantly tapping on yourself and keeping your maintaining your energy hygiene um, will help you um, to to come up with uh, you know viable practical solutions um, to release weight and you know do it in a sustainable basically able to do it in a sustainable manner and not just like you know um, people say this yo-yo dieting right so yeah so you it'll lead you to some possibilities you know in terms of exercise or um, choosing a certain lifestyle or you know for um, food making food choices so I hope this video was helpful. I think this is a long video, uh, but the tapping part is very short. So you can rewind or pause forward and get to the tapping portion alone and give it a try. So I hope this video was helpful for some of you. See you all again tomorrow with another video. Bye. Take good care.